first thing I would say is that I am one generation removed pretty much from that whole fishing industry. I partook of it a bit, maybe up to the age of 10, um, because although at one time the fishing industry was very viable, uh, I've done research on this, there were up to 22 families whose sole existence was dependent on the fish market, um, which is pretty large in terms of Niagara Lake at that time anyhow. But with the opening of the uh, seaway, uh, in came the lampreys and in came the alewife and between the two of them they pretty much decimated the fishing industry in Lake Ontario. Um, my dad talked about bringing in catches that would lay laid in the boat to the point where the boat when it lost its displacement as it came into shore would literally sink. They caught perch, um, whitefish, uh, a few trout. People think there were a lot of trout. I don't think there were a lot of trout. Uh, pickerel and sturgeon. Um, and I'm sure there are others. Those are the ones I remember off the top of my head. You asked about fish markets. Yes, there was Bishop's Fish Market, which is the building is still there. Uh, I personally remember coming in up the water, and um, we would the fishermen would pull up to the docks out in front of Bishop's Fish Market and offload their boxes of fish. And they actually had a little system whereby they would run them right up into the building and. There they would be separated, sorted, cleaned, some cleaned because they were on the fish were on their way to two markets. They were going to Toronto or they're going to New York via Buffalo. Um, the steamship. There was. And this is maybe more history, but it might be easier to access if I'm talking about it. But um, there was no commercial fishing fishing industry until the advent of the steamships because there wasn't an, an outlet. Uh, at one time there were as many as five steamships coming from Toronto a day, twice a day, to the docks. And so the fish would be processed there at Bishop's and there was another one, uh, Packard maybe is the name, uh, fish market. And so they'd be loaded at the docks and go off to Toronto. Uh, right behind Bishop's fish market, within 20 feet, ran the railroad. So the railroad ran right out onto the docks and I'm not sure but I wouldn't be surprised that the fish were mar uh, loaded directly from Bishop's first fish market onto the trains. So it must have been a fair industry up until certainly the 50s, 1950s. My dad went to Port Dover and I remember because I went with him I couldn't have been very old I was born in 43 and bought a very large fish boat. And of course Lake Erie is a, a lot of fish boats up there and he bought this huge boat and uh, he was mechanizing it so that he could pick the nets up from the water mechanically versus by hand and that whole business and I know by the mid 50s he wasn't fishing at all. 